Mom would have been a teenager. Mom was working for a company in Branford called Wateris, where they made guns and they were putting them together. And this here one, one afternoon when Mom decided she was going to leave the, the plant and she's going to go out for lunch, and as she's walking down in Branford, she was staying with her grandmother then, and the rest of her family was living in Hamilton. And as she's walking down the street, she's seen this great big huge sign that said, we need you, join the army. And she went and she signed up that day. And when she got home and she told Graham what she had done, well, my grandmother sent her back home to Hamilton. But by that time, her oldest brother had already um, joined with the um, RHLI, which is the Royal, Royal Hamilton Light Infantry. He had already signed up with them. And so then my grandmother, my mom's mother, sent her twin to Brantford to stay with Graham. And the next thing we knew, Aunt Kath had also signed up. Mom had signed up for the CWAC, which is the Canadian Women's Army Corps and Aunt Kath had signed up with the Air Force. So because Mom knew um, how to deal with guns, take them apart, put them together, uh, she was stationed in Toronto, and that's what she did. And she um, even became a really good shot in testing the guns. They sent her back to Hamilton to work a little bit with the guns in Hamilton, and then she eventually ended up in Ottawa. If Mom was here today, I honestly think that she would say the best thing of being part of the armed forces was serving her country. Serving her country as a woman. Serving her country as being a black woman. But most of all, serving her country as a Canadian.